a loving father and grandfather, a jolly good fellow, intelligent and smart, a wide reader, excelled in sports, had a fine penmanship, good memory, helpful and charitable, had many friends, export semaphore signal, man of their troop, could send and receive 100 letters per minute. Valeriano Ibanez Abelio, a Boy Scout World War II hero. Valeriano Yayong Ibanez Abelio, born on December 16, year 1913, in Barrio San Roque of Tolosa, Leyte, was considered the Boy Scout hero of World War II. He was the second out of the four children of Maximo Javier Abelio, a fish vendor and Cristina Pidos Ibanez, a housewife. He studied in his hometown in San Roque from the 1st to 3rd grade and the 4th to 7th grade in Tacloban City. He enrolled in Leyte National High School for his secondary education where he trained as the Boy Scouts of America and excelled in semaphore signal. He was employed at the city engineer's office in Tacloban City where he retired in 1978 at the age of 65. Valeriano was married to Felipa Silano of Capoocan, Leyte, and their marriage was blessed with four children, three girls and one boy. Valeriano, who had fondness of peace, said, Silence is golden and dislike gossips. From the American Legion magazine of March 1945 with the title Abelio of Leyte by Boyd B. Stutler. With the American forces on Leyte, the Boy Scouts of Leyte and of the entire Philippines have a new hero, a lad who through scout training was prepared for a heroic action when the hour of greatest emergency struck. He is Valeriano Ibanez Abelio, a former member of Troop 11 sponsored by Leyte Provincial High School of Tacloban. It was his knowledge of semaphore signaling gained through scout training that prepared him to aid the American Navy to destroy Japanese defenses and save towns and barrios from destructive shelling. Scout Commissioner Jose Esbrillo of the Leyte Provincial Council piece out the maid available to American newspapers with this account of Abelio's service, which saved the lives of hundreds of Filipinos and American service fragmentary stores men on the day of our invasion. The Japanese army had massed its greatest defenses along the eastern coast Ambao of Leyte stretching from the mountains of San Juanico Strait, which separates Leyte from Samar. It was this area that the American Navy, followed by the American Army, struck with the greatest fury on the morning on October 28, 1944. The defenses included barricades and long traps, dugouts, and slit trenches supported by additional slit trenches and individual fox holes, all intended to provide or grade for at least a full Jap division. Along the seashore and at strategic points in the hills to the rear were and placed batteries of mortars and cannon. Abelio knew of the shore defense system and the exact location of each battery and big gun position because he had served as a capatas under the Japanese, a sort of foreman over the Filipinos who had been forced or induced to work on the defense system. When the long line of American ships moved into position on the morning of October 20th, Scout Abelio was in Telegrafo, a barrio near Tolosa. He did not know, of course, that the Liberators would land that bay. But when big shells fell near Tolosa, he ran to the beach to see what he might do to save the populated areas not then occupied by enemy troops. On the beach, joined by two companions, 
Antonio Hunya and Vicente Canonigo. He used his knowledge of semaphore signaling to flash a message to the nearest destroyer. Please let me direct the shelling, he asked. Came the semaphore reply, come immediately awaiting. The three men launched a native canoe with out triggers and paddled out to near the destroyer. Suddenly, a Japanese battery opened fire and shells came so close to the Baroto, the three men had to jump overboard. Lines were thrown out and exhausted and dripping. They scrambled to the destroyer's deck. Abelio was hurried to the bridge. I can show you where every shore defense is placed, he stated, saluting smartly. I know because I helped build them. Acting on information given by the scout-trained young man, signals were flashed to other ships and to aerial observers. Coursers were changed, new targets taken and best of all, Tolosa and other towns were spared the hail of fire that fell on Leyte Beach. One by one, each strong point and gun battery was silenced by the Navy's shelling. Ground troops broken up and a couple of hours later, American soldiers swept through the area. When World War II broke out in 1944, Valeriano worked with the Beru of Forestry. He worked as an admin officer with the city engineer's office in Tacloban City until his retirement in 1978. He spent his retirement years in Tacloban City and Tolosa Leyte. On June 27, 1999, he was confined at the Bethany Hospital in Tacloban City and was diagnosed with pneumonia, kidney malfunction, and enlargement of the heart. He died on July 17, 1999 at the age of 85. Valeriano was awarded the Philippine Legion of Honor by President Ramon Magsaysay during the 12th Leyte Landing Anniversary in 1956 in Tacloban for his outstanding service to the Philippines and its allies during the Second World War by saving hundreds of Filipinos and American servicemen on the day of the Leyte Invasion.